Why is the medical community seeing a rise in the number of cases of mites in eyelash extensions? The short answer is that not all eyelash extension adhesive is the same. My name is Sophie Mercer. I am a molecular biologist by training and cosmetic chemist, and I started a company called Novalash in 2004. We're the first eyelash extension company on the market, and when I started the company, I gathered a group of physicians, optometrists, and other research scientists to make sure that we could bring this exciting new beauty trend to the world while making sure that at the same time, everything was done in a way that was absolutely healthy and also efficacious so that consumers would get a really good result and a really safe result. So what's the difference? What are you getting? Why can some people clean their lash extensions and they don't fall off? and other people can't clean their lash extensions properly. They all come out in your hand or something like that. The biggest difference is the, the consistency and the texture of the adhesive that is being used. When I first started this industry, I formulated an adhesive that was rubber toughened that has a texture that's very, very similar to a piece of licorice so that when stress is put on your natural eyelashes and the extensions that go with them it doesn't crack it doesn't crumble and it doesn't come loose from the natural eyelash it is a strong adhesive it is a healthy adhesive and it bends and flexes with your natural eyelash when tension is put on it whether you're cleaning your eyelashes or whether they're rubbing up against a pillow when you're sleeping at night you really should be able to get in there and clean those extensions really really well one or two times a day and not have to worry about any of your extensions coming loose just because of the cleansing process. What you want to look for is an adhesive that can tolerate the proper type of cleansing. Now, I don't suggest that people try this at home, but I'm going to show you uh, how much tension you should be able to apply to your lash extensions without any of them falling out. Like I said, do not try this at home, but if you can't do this, or if you can't apply enough pressure on your lashes to be able to scrub them with either, either a lash uh, shampoo or an eye makeup remover that's gonna clean all of the dust, particles, pollutants, and things like that out from your extensions, if you cannot get in there and cleanse them properly because your adhesive can't hold up, then there's something wrong with the service that you've received and something wrong with the adhesive that you've received. It has to be able to be washed properly. And that is part of the reason that we're seeing a rise in cases of eyelash mites. It's because the majority of the adhesives that are out there on the market right now are not rubberized. They are adhesives that are strong in some senses, but the problem is they're extremely brittle. For some of you who are not familiar with American junk food, this is a Butterfinger, and this is what happens to eyelash extension adhesive that can't be washed properly when you try to wash it. It has a brittle texture and basically it breaks down and crumbles and cracks like this. And that is the reason that your extensions are coming loose. Your adhesive has this type of texture. If you are being told not to get your eyelashes wet, if you are being told that you cannot use any cleansing products that contain oils, or if you have just noticed that when you go home, you are not able to shampoo your lashes, you're not able to wash your lashes, you can't get them wet, and worst off, if you're being told not to touch them, you have something to be concerned about. Mites live on our faces 
uh, naturally. They're there, they clean up dead skin cells. The problem arises when uh, improper hygiene regimens are, are being followed because people are concerned that if they wash or touch or shampoo or cleanse the, the eye area, that their extensions are gonna fall off. The problem is when we start to get an over infestation of them, what's happening is those little creatures are crawling down into the follicle head first, and they have these little claws that can kind of grab onto the inside of the follicle or the, or the hair itself. And, and there what they do is they feed on sebaceous material, uh, which is oil coming from your, your pore in, in the hair follicle and dead skin cells and things like that. And then when things start to go wrong, when people don't clean their lash extensions properly, it's because the, the mites start to multiply too quickly. They start reproducing if you don't wash your lashes. And then what happens is you might have a whole little family of a few little mites that have all sort of taken up residence inside the follicle where your natural eyelash is coming out of and their little tails stick out of the follicle while their heads face downwards in and underneath your skin. And what can happen in that case is you can also suffer from eyelash loss because what happens is the, the, the mites and their, their little children, their little family that they've got growing on and inside your follicle actually start to push the hair out. And so you might notice that your lashes are not growing in as thick and as healthy as they used to because you're not able to keep them quite as clean. There have been some reports recently in the media that also included lice as well as mites. Now lice and mites are two very different little creatures. Um, it's very, very rare for us to see a case of body lice living on or around the eyelid area because of eyelash extensions. It's not something that we see very often. Could it happen? Yes, theoretically, but most of the cases we see are mites and it's all based basically on improper hygiene. So what you should be able to do without losing any extensions is either use 100% cotton flannel wipe such as this one and these are just very easy to use. You just get in there along the lash line and you can use this to cleanse your extensions and cleanse your natural eyelashes. It removes makeup, it also conditions your lashes and that will just that normal hygiene will help prevent an over infestation of mites. So like I said, it's normal for us to have some mites on our skin. In addition to using a cleansing conditioning wipe, you can also use eyelash shampoos. Some of them contain tea tree oil, some of them do not. If you have an over infestation of mites because you have not been cleaning your lash extensions properly, you may want to go with something that does contain tea tree oil because the mites don't like it. So that will help to clear up a case of over infestation. And what you wanna do is just take a bit of this cleanser and put it on the back of a disposable wand and you can really get in there and just go along the lash line and carefully sort of scrub and cleanse your eyelash extensions and your natural lashes. And then that way you know that you're not going to have a problem with hygiene. If your adhesive that you're using at the salon or spa where you might be getting eyelash extensions can't hold up to being properly cleansed, you need to look for a new adhesive. All adhesives should be able to withstand normal washing and cleansing on a daily basis. So what I would recommend to you is if you've noticed that the eyelash extensions that you're wearing can't tolerate any type of cleansing that you look for another brand. Ask the salon or spa what brand they're using. I started the the first eyelash extension company many years ago, as I mentioned before. Some people might look at this and say, oh, 
This is an ad for Novolash. The way we look at it at Novolash is we look at it as our responsibility to inform the public and to inform professionals as well as to why this has suddenly become a hot topic in the media. What you wanna do is you want to ask the salon or spa, whether or not the adhesive they're using is rubber toughened. Novolash adhesives are all rubber toughened. We uh, have a patent pending on that formula. And when you use the right adhesive, you will find that you can wash and clean your lashes with all sorts of different products and you're not gonna lose your extensions. So the last thing that you wanna do is not touch them. If they can't be touched, there's something wrong with the glue. I hope that information was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. If you need more information, you can always visit us at novalash.com.